Okay, guys, this is another video. I've done one like this before, but here you go. So you found yourself in the mumble room and you don't have push to talk enabled. Okay, so what you do, you come up here to this um, icon right here beside the um, yellow C and you click it. Okay, and then you'll come up to this here where it says voice activity. You'll hit the drop down, which is that arrow right here, and there's an option push to talk. Okay. So now you want to click. Well, I missed it. You want to click on push to talk. All right now you come down here and hit OK. Now you'll come back up here to the same icon, click it again. Okay. Now if you notice right down through here, you was in audio input to do the push to talk. Now you want to scroll down here to shortcuts. All right. Now if you go down here to where it says add it'll add a shortcut. Now you want to scroll your cursor up to where it says unassigned. On the unassigned word click on it and it'll bring you down to this drop down menu. There's a little arrow right here. Okay and then I would choose push to talk. Alright so now that I've got the option to push to talk listed I need to assign a key. So if you look right here where it says shortcut directly below that in this bar that's highlighted not on the shortcut but directly below it I'm going to click again okay now when I click that it brings me up a word that says press shortcut so now I'm going to hit the right control key because that's what I use for my um, push to talk button and I got right control key enabled now now I'll go down here and hit OK OK now that I'm back into the room if I um, hit the push to talk button, you see the lips will light up and I can talk with the button I chose to push. Thanks for watching.